Alrighty, welcome back. Today's video, we are going to be looking at health bars. We're going to have a hero object. This will hold the value of the current life and the maximum life our hero can hold. On click, we will lower its life, and then we will have a health bar which shows that life going down. And let's get into it. The first thing we're going to want to do is add the three objects we'll need. One's our hero. One is the health bar. And one is the health itself. I always fought just to wear the crown. I'm off at these fucking clowns. Hoover all taught they deserve it now. It's only one. Now that we have our three objects, we can go ahead and drag and drop them onto our layer, which is shown by this square outline. And once all our objects are in our layer, we can go ahead and drag the edges out to get our character and our health box the correct sizes. and make sure you layer the health bar on top of the health bar box. If you did this in the opposite order, you'll just have to go into the individual objects and change the Z order. Next, we're gonna double click on our hero object and click on the variable tab. Here, we're gonna add two variables, one for current HP and one for max HP. We're gonna wanna go ahead and set both of these as number variables, and we're gonna give them values of 25. I swear to God, they all let me down. I always fought just to wear the crown. I'm off at these fucking clowns. The last thing we're gonna do is give a way to deal damage to our hero. And each time we deal that damage, we're gonna update the health bar size. So we're gonna make it so anytime you click the hero, it takes one point of damage. And we'll do that in the events page. So add a new event, add condition, and then on touch, of left mouse is down plus while the cursor is touching our red hero and additionally we only want this to happen once otherwise it will happen every tick while your mouse buttons down so we'll add a trigger once condition and then on the action side we will set this to change the variable of health of red hero and we want to subtract one and that'll take care of damaging the hero and to update our health bar width we're going to want to go back to our scene layer click on the health bar and under the properties we are going to look at width amount and this is going to be the max width that we're going to want our object to be and we're going to use that in our event so mine's 311 and under add action click on health bar and set the width and we're going to set to an exact value. And here we want an algorithm for our hero's current health. Divided by our hero's max health. And that'll give us our percentage of how much life they have left. And then we're going to multiply it by that 311 max health bar size. Now to stop our health box from having larger values or negative values than what the health box can hold, we're going to put that all inside of a clamp which takes in three values. The first value will be the algorithm value we just did, followed by a comma, and then the minimum value of zero, followed by a comma, and the maximum value of again that 311 max width size. And there we have it, a working health bar, which can also be used as a progress bar. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, throw them down below. And until next time, peace.